1957, two Holy Cross brothers left Notre Dame and came to Ghana to plant Holy Cross on the soil of Africa. Our work started at St. John's High School in 2nd D. Our work has grown and what started as two American brothers working alone in a high school has grown to a community of nearly 40 brothers striving to reach the congregation family in Africa. Come, join me as I tell our story. St. Joseph Hall, I would like to tell you about our formation program, how a young man becomes a Holy Cross brother. Our future depends upon our growth in new membership. St. Joseph Hall is the starting point of all Ghanaian Holy Cross brothers. The young men learn how to live together in community and what is expected of the Holy Cross man. Moro House. Moro House is a pre novitiate program. Candidates spend anywhere from nine months to a year. They are giving classes in scripture and theology to prepare them for their novitiate work. They also spend time doing apostolic work. Brother Andre Novitiate. The Novitiate is a year-long program of quiet prayer, reflection, and study about religious life and the charism of the congregation. The novices also do apostolic work in the community, religious education programs in parishes, and working at a prison or school for the dead. Scholasticate at Sunyane. Once our men have finished their novitiate, they either begin or continue on their studies at the university. We have rented a building near the Catholic University of Ghana. Our numbers have grown and it is far too cramped. We now have funds to build a house of studies. This will give us a permanent residence at the university. St. John's School. St. John's School Second D is the school that invited Holy Cross to Ghana. We have been teaching here since 1957. Brother Res Handel was the first brother headmaster of the school. The school now has 1,400 students, both day and boarding. St. Augustine's High School. Holy Cross has been teaching at St. Augustine since 1965. This school has 1,600 students and is in Cape Coast.
Skills Project. In 1982, the community realized that there was a significant portion of the youth that were unable to get into high schools. The community decided to open a basic skills program to provide young people with the possibility of getting a skill through which they could earn a living. The program started under a bamboo structure and when the young men learned how to make cement block and build, they constructed their own school. It was later transferred to a larger area. The students with their instructors built all the buildings you see. The students here have a three-year program. They study not only basic skills, but receive classes in English, math, basic bookkeeping, and computers. The center attempts to prepare them for a productive, dignified life. Home of Hope. The Home of Hope was built to provide a home for at-risk young men from the Sekendi Takwari area. This facility provides a safe environment for these men while they study at the Basic Skills Centre. Holy Cross Continuing Formation Center. The Continuing Formation Center is on the district administration property. This is a multi purpose facility. The facility provides leadership training programs, retreats, and bookkeeping courses for church personnel. And it is also a meeting place for church groups. District Administrative Center. Our administrative center is at Brafia, just outside of Cape Coast. Community meetings are held here, and it is the home of the district superior. Akwaba, welcome to Ghana, to the district superior's office. 53 years ago, two Holy Cross brothers came to Ghana to work at St. John's School. They immediately started to train young Africans as Holy Cross brothers. I remember one of the brothers saying, the job of a missionary is to work himself out of a job. They have done this. There are only three North Americans left in Ghana. They are part of us. But the work has been put into our hands, and we are working hard to prove the trust 
that they have given us. The work of Holy Cross continues in Africa through an African community. We are looking forward to the building of a new co-ed national boarding school in the Kasua area. This will be a private school and we will be able to determine our course of studies a bit more carefully. Mainly, we want to ensure that we will cross educational values are part of the cultural mix in Africa. This is our pledge to our senior brothers who work so hard to bring Holy Cross to Ghana. With your help, we will be able to continue on this work and bring it to completion. With God's grace, this will happen. Thank you and God bless you. This is part of our story, at least up to today. The future is always unknown, but we are aware of our interdependence. With the help of our international extended family, the work of Holy Cross will continue to grow. Thank you for spending a bit of time with us. We extend an invitation to you to come and visit whenever you can. Just drop me. Thank you for all the help that you have given us. Rest assured of a remembrance in our prayers for you. God bless you.